Now we see what is isothermal process and adiabatic process and the differences between isothermal and adiabatic process. A process in which the temperature of the system remains constant is called isothermal process. Now we see the example for isothermal process. This flask contains water. Now we are uh, inserting thermometer. This room temperature is 30 degrees Celsius. Next we are supplying heat to the system from the surrounding. So the temperature is increases gradually and uh, bubbles are started. When the vapor pressure of the system is equal to the atmospheric pressure, the temperature is said to be boiling temperature of water. The temperature is 100 degrees Celsius. To maintain this temperature, we have to supply heat from the surrounding. This is called isothermal process. Next we see adiabatic process. A process in which the system does not exchange heat with the surrounding. First we see adiabatic compression. Consider this uh, insulated frictionless piston. When we compress this piston, the volume is decreases, the temperature is increases inside the system. In adiabatic expansion, the volume is increases and the temperature is decreases. But here no heat transfer with the surroundings or no heat exchange with the surroundings. In isothermal process, heat is either supplied to the system or removed from it. In adiabatic process, no heat leaves or enter the system. Here dt is zero. In adiabatic process, dq is zero. In adiabatic process, the temperature of the system always changes. It is uh, in adiabatic compression, the temperature is increases. In adiabatic expansion, the temperature is decreases. The example for isothermal process are boiling temperature of water, freezing temperature of water, etc. In adiabatic process, any insulated system. Thank you.